Bella had spent her entire life on that balcony, the third floor of a crumbling apartment building in a poor neighborhood. Her world was a small rectangle of concrete, the chain her only connection to the world. Sometimes, a hand tossed her a crust of bread or a scrap of meat, but more often, she was fed the garbage the building's inhabitants deemed unfit for their own consumption. Bella was a small dog, a mix of breeds that nobody could quite identify. Her coat, once glossy, was now matted and dull, her ribs showing through her skin. She had never known the feeling of grass beneath her paws, the thrill of a chase, the love of a kind touch. She had learned to survive, to endure, to dream of freedom in the fleeting moments when she glimpsed the street below. One day, the hunger gnawing at her belly became unbearable. The usual scraps were missing, and a wave of despair washed over her. She whined, a pathetic, hollow sound, but no one heard. Desperation, a primal instinct, took hold. She saw her chance. The metal chain was rusted, the links weak from years of neglect. With a desperate lunge, she threw herself against the railing, the chain catching on her neck. The world went black. When Bella awoke, she was in pain. The chain, now embedded in her flesh, choked her. She was hanging, her paws dangling uselessly. The sun, scorching before, felt cold, distant. She whimpered, a sound lost in the cacophony of the city. Five hours later, a group of women from the Egyptian Society for Compassionate Care of Animals reached Bella. They had received an anonymous tip about a dog hanging from a balcony. They were met with a scene of utter neglect and despair. The apartment was empty, the stench of garbage overwhelming. They managed to free Bella, her body emaciated and weak. Bella was taken to a vet, her injuries severe. She had lost so much weight, her bones almost visible through her skin. She was malnourished, dehydrated, and the wound on her neck was infected. The vet, a kind man with gentle hands, fought to save her. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months. Bella received the best care possible, her body slowly healing. She was fed proper food, given plenty of water, and for the first time in her life, she was loved. She learned to trust, to wag her tail, to bask in the sun. One day, a woman from Massachusetts, Laureen Connolly, arrived at the shelter. She was a member of the S Animal Rescue and Rehabilitation Task Force, and she had seen Bella's story on the internet. She had been moved by Bella's resilience, by the sheer determination to survive. She knew Bella deserved a second chance. Laureen carried Bella in her arms to the airport. It was the first time Bella had ever flown, the first time she had ever seen the world beyond her balcony. She had never imagined such vastness, such freedom. She looked out the window, her eyes wide with wonder.